Hey guys, welcome to Keep Trekking. Welcome back if I've been before. Just a wee one today. Starting at High Flats, walking down towards the Quaker Meeting House. English Heritage, I always wanted to know what it looked like and what it was about, so we'll save a look, see if we can see out, and then we're going to walk over to Denby Dale, back around to Upper Denby, and then back around to High Flats. Just over, just under five mile, I think it is in total. It's not a long one, it's only a wee one, this one. Just fancy getting out today and enjoying the last bit of summer, early autumn, is it? Oh, I don't know. What's it classed as? Summer or early autumn? Not quite sure. Ah, yeah, it's still beautiful, but it feels like autumn now you know it's got that like a light and breeze and feeling about it you know like the summer's gone almost feels like spring but uh i wish it were spring but it feels like that the weather's starting to turn the temperatures are changing and uh, the light the sun's getting lower in the daytime and it's just got an old feel about it rather than being the summer feeling and temperatures that we've been getting I mean we have done amazing this summer I've got to say it's been one of the best summers for a long long time let's have a look at that uh, quaking house when we get there I've got to say, I'm slightly disappointed. I thought it was going to be a lovely Quaker house, something very distinctive. There weren't even a sign that said Quaker's house, Quaker's meeting house. Apparently it's English heritage. There's nobody about. Very strange that... Um, didn't even look on, which I thought it probably would have been, to be fair, but it won't. Anyway, I now know what it's about, so not a great deal to talk about on that one. <laughs> let's head over towards Denbydale and let's see what we can see over there.
I'm just approaching Wood Farm, which is on the edge of Toby Wood Lane. Looks like it's some sort of equestrian centre. Got one of those uh, training yards in its, uh, in its field. Beautiful flat land this, well not flat, but beautiful grass. Lovely trail coming down from the woods there. Stunning. We're working my way around. We're in that direction towards Denbydale and then working my way all the way back. All the way back up that tree, on the far side of them tree line. And all the way back up to the main road at High Flats. Well, I can say it's just short of five mile, I think, in total. It's just a nice, uh, nice daytime stroll. So we're on Toby Wood Lane, heading for the A635 Barnsley Road and then cut off towards Denbydale. Now I've just noticed that trail, um, that um, the Dern Way and the little uh, carving of the miner's helmet and the miner's lamp and such like. That might be a nice trail to do. If anybody's done that one, drop us a comment. But really nice that. And uh, very interesting. There's a lot to do with mining and things. Uh, yeah, so that was Wood Farm. It was left just back there. Not a bad wee trail so far. Very simple, very easy. Denbydale Viaduct is uh, a curved viaduct that carries the Uddersfield Sheffield Railway, or commonly known as the Penniston Line, across the Barnsley Road A6, A635, I think it is, that takes you into Denbydale and then on to Uddersfield. The original bridge was timber, but it was replaced by this stone bridge in 1880 beautiful construction if you ever seen the one at Penniston that's equally as impressive beautiful
So we're just leaving the viaduct behind for now. Heading up towards Denverdale Railway Station. Like they're building some brand new houses across road. Beautiful houses. Well, quite pretty spacious to be honest. And obviously they're both through. It's been a while since I've been here. The last time I came here, uh, we did the Pendent Trail, which is from Penniston Old Railway Station. This station here at Denbydale ends Pen Den Trail, and then we caught the train back to Penniston. That's a nice little five miler. Pretty for a wee trip that. But we're not going up to the railway station. This is Wood Lane. We're going to continue down Wood Lane back into Denbydale itself. In the 1800s, Denby Dale used to be known as Denby Dykeside until the mills arrived by the Kenyon family. Barsley Road used to be a dirt track, it used to be a, uh, a toll road, which is just at the back of me, which is now the main thoroughfare into Denby Dale, or one of them. Um, there used to just be a few scattered farms here, there, and everywhere. Like I said, until the factories arrived and then it changed to Denby Dale. In 1846, the old viaduct was built. It was, like I said before, it was made of wood until it uh, fell down in 1847 in a gale. So in 1880, a new bridge was built, because was commissioned for George Naylor, I think his name was. He was a local, he was an architect. It's a beautiful stone bridge and it's the bridge we see today. In 1883, the Kenyon family obviously had the mill, the uh, Dernside mill, and it was really flourishing. Uh, selling imports and exports, well, selling exports really abroad of cloth, until in uh, 1977 when imports became cheaper so the mill eventually closed just a bit further down here this field 
where I'm sat, there's a cobbled path, like a stone paved path, that leads from the family home, that used to lead to the mill, that used to be just down the bottom where that church I showed you earlier stands. It's really nice here in Denbydale, we'll stay here a way while, but uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to crack on. Just approaching Upper Denby, Upper Denby. Its original name was Deneby or Deneby, which is Dane B I E, Deneby, which means farmstead of the Danes. Uh, recorded that it was the first settled by the Danes in 682 AD. It was also mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. Uh, so it's quite a very, very old place, is Denby, or Upper Denby, or Denby as in a whole. Denby, Upper Denby, Lower Denby, Denbydale. This is a suburb of Denby, Denbydale. Uh, it's a wee village on the outskirts of the town. It's beautiful, so peaceful, till I arrive. <laughs> through that lot. That trail's obviously not been used for a long long time. So I'll give myself another option. Uh, there was another way I could go but that was a shorter cut. But I'm not bothered. We've got a long way around. That's fine. It's an absolutely stunning afternoon. So I'm going the long way. That was shy. Proper sketchy that. There's no way I'm going to beat me sent through all that. It looks like it's not been used for years. Obviously, most people don't know it's there. And there are no public footpath signs, so I wonder if it's been discontinued, moved, because of the houses or something, maybe. I mean, there's some pretty awesome buildings around here in Upper Denby. So maybe because they've been built, the paths have been disused and being redirected such as this one I'm on which is actually a public footpath as well which comes out further up so comes out at the same place so I've probably moved it redirected because of these posh houses money talks
Well, that's something you don't see every day. An old pirate ship. An old pirate out, look out. And that wee beastie, cutting your lawn. Must be nice, eh? An old pirate ship. Fuck kids, no doubt. That is absolute class. I'll say it too bad either. That is fantastic. <laughs> wow. They've not only got a pirate ship, Fort Bairns, no doubt. They've also made a wee golf course. That's what that little machine we're doing, cutting grass. It's a wee golf course, like a little putting green. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> So, back out of that farm, I just showed you, back onto Denby Lane, just follow this for about three or four hundred yards, and it'll bring me back onto Penniston Road, and then back down to where my car's parked. Been an absolutely beautiful trek that one, not been a long one, been long enough for an afternoon. Really nice, been absolutely stunning weather again today. Can't knock it. Uh, keep thinking that the weather's gone and it comes back to us. What an absolute blasting summer we've had. 
fantastic. Could not have asked for a better summer, to be honest, guys. Ooh. Amazing. So I'm back at the car, absolutely fantastic trek that, I made that one up my sen and uh, I'm quite impressed with it to be fair, <laughs> we're at Boston, it's quite alright, just short of five mile, brilliant, I'm really happy with that one, I'm uh, parked just opposite Quarry House Farm here on uh, Penniston Road, just up from the ice cream place. Um, I might call in and get one of mine on. Quite nice. And then back into Penniston and then back home. So, I'm going to end this video here. So, till for the next one. Jay Hart. Keep trekking. Trek on. Catch you in a bit. What a lovely view.